So we're going to model a old television. Okay, so shift A, get a cube, tab in edit mode, control R, get a loop cut, maybe about there. Then I'm going to bring this face down and we press I and I'll move my mouse in a little bit like that. Then I press E to extrude, just a small amount. Then E to extrude again, right click, S to scale up a bit. Let's pull it out a little bit. And then E to extrude, extrude another square on the back. I'm going to press I, go in a bit, a little bit more than the other one. E to extrude. E again, scale that, scale that back up, like that, e to, e to extrude it again, but I'm going to move this up a little bit, control R, get a leap cut, bring that down here, control R, get another leap cut, put that about there, so then select this top face here, and bring that out a bit, so you get this little indent kind of area, so I'm going to press C for circle select, and then just left click, drag along the top, and just like this top row. I'm just going to bring that up a bit. Kind of like that. Select this edge down here. Double tap G. You can slide it up the face. And I'm going to double tap G and bring that down to create this square to work in. So I'm going to click in there. I'm going to press I like that. Then I'm going to press E to extrude inwards. Get the scale tool. Scale it inwards. Scale it on the uh, and the Z as well. Hold shift and right click, you can move your 3D cursor. So I'm gonna place mine here, shift A, get a cube, scale that cube down. Now I'm gonna rotate it so it, fight, it matches the same rotation as the uh, back of it. Then I'm gonna go turn this to local, so it moves the axis. axis. Okay, so tab into edit mode. And I'm just gonna scale this down. Just flatten that out a little bit. That's a bit too wide. Okay, so shift, right click, over here, shift A, cube, scale that down, scale that across. I'm in edit mode, control R, middle mouse wheel to add another loop in, left click, right click, face select, select this, select this, and scale that out. Left click, shift, left click, shift, left click. Then we're gonna press I again, bring that in a bit. Scale that on the Z to get the walls nice and thick. E to extrude, push it inwards, like that. Shift A, get another cube, scale that down. Type into edit mode, select all these edges by holding shift and left clicking. Then hit control B, you can add a bevel to it. Like that, like object mode. Type into edit mode, face select, so let's face here. Press I, bring it in a bit, make sure it's in a bit more, like that. Okay, so shift A, cylinder. Since we're going to make this pretty small, we don't need 32 faces. Maybe like 22. So press S to scale that down. Go to rotate, hold control. And then rotate 90 degrees. Yeah, so press S to scale down a bit. Pull it out, get it longer. That's a bit big. Something more like that. Tap into edit mode. Set the space. E to extrude, S to scale inwards. Then press I, left click, and then E, and bring that in. Scale that down a bit. Maybe something like that. Right click, shade smooth. So Shift D, and move that over. Shift D, right click, move that over. Set them free, duplicate them. Into edit mode. So Control R, somewhere below there. Get another one. Control R, and maybe there, I think I'll bring this down a bit. Press I, bring that in a bit, scale that on the Y, extrude that inwards, get a cube, scale that down, get that kind of flat, edit mode, select this face, press I, bring that in, like that, and extrude that inwards, kind of line it up with them, shift D to duplicate, and then just slide it to the left. You know, to do that even. You know, just have some MacGuffins down here. Okay, so tab and uh, go into edit mode. Select the front face, press I. Get a small edge like that. Extrude that inwards. Press I again. Then um, extrude that inwards. 
So if I hit I again. Okay, so this is our screen here. This is all like the frame in front of it. Okay, so you hold Alt and Shift and select all this bit, and then press H. Then press L and everything that's left, and press H. You can just ignore them. So now we have the screen and the first like frame around it. So we just want to put a bend in this. So Control R, and then use the middle mouse wheel like that. So you have one in the middle. Select this top one, then hold Control, select this bottom one. So you have the whole line. Over here, turn on proportional editing. So if you pull this now, the rest of the object should move. You can use your middle mouse wheel to affect the radius. So you want a nice smooth slope like that. Yeah, so if we Alt H to unhide our objects, select what you were just did, and the money is like sliding back into place like that. So in edit mode, press C and left click and select all the screen. I'm going to make the screen a little bit flatter by just scaling it on the X. Okay, so I'm going to press Control R and I get a line in the middle. Then I'm going to select these two edges, turn on push lines in. I'm just going to pull out the center a bit. So right click, shade auto smooth. I'm going to press C for circle select. I'm just going to select all this bottom bit. I'm going to pull it to the push line thing. Go back to global. I'm going to pull that off a bit. So over here, I'm going to press I, bring the end a bit. I'll just move them if scaling's being a pain. E to extrude. Then I'm going to go to edge select, select this top edge. And just push that in a bit. I'm going to shift right click over here, shift A, cube, scale the cube down. Select this top edge. Bring that in a bit. Select all this, bring that in a bit. Then I extrude that out. Right click, move that out. Okay, so then just select these three here. You'd extrude, scale it out a small amount. Try and keep it in line. Make sure they don't stick out. Uh, so you go over to here, add modify, add an array. We're going to want 14. Uh, so for me, I want to do this on the Y axis. And I just want a small gap between them. Yeah, kind of like that. Hop into edit mode. I'm just going to scale that down. And uh, scale on the Y. I'm going to select this uh, top face and just make it a bit tighter. Okay, I think mine are a bit long, so I'm just going to make them a bit smaller. Like that. Uh, so we go over here, get these three, shift D, bring them over, hold control and rotate them, 180, scale them up a little bit. We're going to hop into edit, move, edit mode and just let these three backs and just pull it in a bit, make them a bit longer, just because it's on a slant. So I'm going to press I again, scale that on the Y, and I want to create a small square down here. So you want to leave enough space on the edge and against the ear buttons. So I'm going to press E to extrude that. Right click, red arrow inwards. Then I'm going to press I again and uh, make it like that. Then I'm going to press E to extrude it outwards. Left click. Then I'm going to press E again, a small amount. Then I'm going to press S to scale it down. Yeah, I like that. Hold shift and right click. Shift A, cube. Then uh, scale that out a bit, tab, select the space, press I again, then I go E, bring it inwards a bit, that's control R, left click, do a loop cut, apply back there, so we have a little uh, brace area, control R, then just add a bunch of them in, then just select every other one, going across here, like that, go to object mode, hide that TV, left click here, hold control, left click here, and it'll fill the line in for you. And then just do the same for these up here and pull that down. Alt H to unhide, left click here, hold control, left click here, then pull that up until it clips through like that. And press I on this area, scale that into the center a bit wider. Extrude that inwards, scale this down so it fits with that. Tab into edit mode again. 
Uh, so press I again in here, like that, small edge. And you want to extrude out just a little bit in front of where the wall is. And extrude again, and then scale it inwards. I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. Like that, so that's like the uh, DVD tray. Duplicate this vent thing, put it over here. Try and get it into a similar place. I'm going to press C for circle site and just select all this. Uh, and then I uh, delete that. I'm just going to left click to clear up these, uh, these faces here. Delete them. Edge select, hold alt at that, press F. Okay, let's hide the TV for a second. So select all these edges here. And then press Control X, delete them all. Keep the core box shape, Alt H. Hold Shift and right click, Shift A. Cylinder, get a cylinder. Rotate it 90 degrees, scale it inwards, like that. Scale it up all together. Press Tab, select this face, select this face. Press E, right click, scale the extrusion out. Then up here you want to go to Individual Origins, and then press S. And that will scale both of the sides in. Go back to medium point. So I'm just gonna make that a bit skinnier. Add some loot cuts into that. So if I go to wireframe mode, I can see all the wireframe. So I want to put this between the loop cuts that I made. Okay, so then control R, loop cut there, control R, loop cut down here. So it's like the faces back here. Then press E, bring that in a bit. And then push them in a bit. I think like that. So press tab back here, set these three, press I, and uh, extrude that inwards. Let's scale that in a bit. I'm going to scale it on the X to get it flat. Then I'm going to do another I, and just make this a square shape. And uh, extrude that in a bit. So I'm going to put a cube in, scale that down, copy the edit mode, control R. Get two loop cuts, scale it up a bit. Select this edge, select this edge, and then just scale it on the Y. Then I'm going to shift A, get a cylinder. That's fine, just scale that, scale that down. Delete on the number pad to uh, zoom your camera into the object. Rotate, holding control to snap it 10 degrees to, uh, until it gets to 90 degrees. Tab into edit mode. So I'm just going to press A and just extrude that out. And we're going to press control R. To do a loop cut, I'm going to use my middle mouse wheel to add a bunch of them, like that. So I'm going to turn on proportional editing, hold Alt and select this ring here. And I'm just going to try and make a wire come out of the uh, the back. If you go over here, you can get X-ray mode and press C. So I'm going to select all of this over here. I can just bring all that down together. We're using this X-axis as a floor. Turn off X-ray. Go to face select and hold Alt, select like a line here, and uh, use the middle mouse to affect the radius of the wire. You can put a bend in the wire. Okay, so one last thing, we just need some feet. So shift, right click, over here, shift A, oh, shift A. Cylinder, scale that down. So we want it in the corner. Scale that down a bit. Tab in edit mode. Set this extrude down, press E, oh. Go to the push lighting, edit press S, and just want to round out a bit. Okay, that's way too big. I mean, that's a good size. So then Shift D, put it in that corner. So left click, Shift, left click, Shift D, right click, and then just move them down to the back. So it's got feet on it. Okay, so there you go. An old blocky TV. Thanks for watching.